You're listening to BBC Radio 4 Extra. Now, Dashiell Hammett's action ace battles the law to pursue his arch enemy. Just check out the opening announcements. A world away from the more low-key, savvy, wisecracking tone of Hammett's other famous character, Nick Charles in The Thin Man. Secret Agent X-9 by Dashiell Hammett, dramatized by Mark Brissenden. In last week's episode, top-level government agent X-9 was called to the mansion of billionaire industrialist Tarleton Powers. Unable to prevent his murder and the kidnapping of his niece, Evelyn, X-9 revealed the presence in the house of one of criminal mastermind, the Tops men. Suspected of the man's subsequent death in police custody, X-9 is forced to run from the law while desperately searching for clues to the whereabouts of the Top. This week's episode... Carnage at Sea. Mm, yeah. Those. Those can go on the fire. What? Who's there? Oh, Alfred, is that. My name was most definitely not Alfred. Oh, you again. Tired of using doors, are we? I thought your type only came through windows at the end of a rope. Alfred? My pet poodle. I'm sure that's just what he is. In the meantime, I seem to have cut myself a safe cracker. These are my husband's papers. I have a right to go through them. Uh Uh-huh. But scatter them over the floor? Looking for something? No. Just seeing what's to be kept. (whistles) These are business effects? Photographs? I was about to burn those. They disgust me. Now, she's a Lulu. Can't be more than... uh... Give them to me! My husband, you know. Poor dear was a little past his prime. He got his kicks looking. You know, the more I learn about your husband... Yes? The more I realize I don't like any of you. Oh, not even Evelyn. (laughs) Come now, can't you see her sitting by the fire, polishing your armor? Cut it out. She could be dead and you're making cracks like that. I'm sorry. But it's such a trying time at the moment, I... Don't pull a feint. I won't catch you. You know, you might like me if you got to know me. (laughs) Sure. That's what the rattlesnake said to the coyote. Oh. Looks like you've already had a bit of a bonfire. What? You're destroying evidence. You're doing a lousy job. What are you talking about? Oh, wreck the pie lines and gold bowl. Oh, well, that explains everything. Ah, scrap here, not burnt, says, oh, wreck the pie lions and gold bowl. And you want me to sit through the ashes for the rest, I suppose. (laughs) They're just old business papers. Oh, not more police. Now what? Wait a minute. They're after you this time. That's why you had to break in. Ha <laughs> ha, that's rich. Mr. Law Enforcer on the run from the small town bull. Just a slight misunderstanding over a murder or two. Don't worry. I won't tell them you were here. You can tell them what you like. Want to go through the kitchens? Yeah. I'll use the window. It's getting to be a habit of mine. Drop in and see me again. Any time. Count on it. I know you didn't kill your husband, but you're up to something more than a little honest gold digging. (laughs) Yeah, that's right, boys. You run on up to the house. I'll slip back the other way. What? This is impossible. Decided to wait in the captain's car, eh, Pico? Oh, mon dieu! Mon dieu, my eye. You're as French as the 4th of July. Now, move over. You're driving me out of here. Where are you taking me? Sightseeing. Move it. Keep your hands on the wheel. Your eyes dead ahead. Any tricks in it, your liver this gun is pointed at. So, I am, uh, how do you say, your getaway man? Still the Frenchman. Let's see if you got any ID on you. <laughs> how do you expect me to drive if I am to be frisked as well? You'll do what I tell you to do. Oh. 
Yeah, your ID does look good. <laughs> but even a blind newsie could forge something this simple. Anything else in there? Uh, return that envelope to me now. I can't think of a better reason to keep it. Now, tell me how you killed Baldy Carson. <laughs> you tell me, monsieur. Uh, you are the prime suspect. The cane. Uh, pardon? You prodded Carson with your cane when you first turned up at the police station. There had to have been a concealed poison tip of some kind, obviously with a delayed reaction. That he was smoking one of my cigarettes at the time was a lucky bonus for you. <laughs> Bravo, monsieur. And if you don't drop the maitre de French, I'll plug you now and leave you by the roadside. Oh, I think the captain wishes his cow back. Oh, well, I'm still in it. Let it out another notch. Still gaining. Try not to let it upset you too much. Keep it steady. Is he mad? Shooting up his own car? Don't worry. I'm sure he's got a dozen more at home just like it. But they hit the tires. Break, damn it. Too late. Jump! Pico! Pico! Whatever your damn name is. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Yeah, out cold. And I had a long list of questions for you about the top. Without the cops. They tend to get better results that way. Like I say, love to stay and talk a while, but Captain Brady and his boys will be coming down to look at this mess. And I don't have any road insurance. That night, the hijacked yacht, the Sea Girl, slipped into anchor at a remote spot on the Connecticut coast known as Harper's Landing. Come now, brothers. You've heard the top's commandments. Now get loading those crates on board. We want to be away from here before first light. Uh, Brother Thomas, welcome. Got a surprise package for you. Let me go! You can't kidnap me. I have to go to my uncle. And your uncle has to go to the mall. Oh, no! And what, pray, am I to do with her? She's one of the power things. Now you know as much as I do. Here, play this when we're underway again. Say one thing for you, Cap. You stock a pretty good bar. Could have used you during Prohibition. Want a slug? Not while I'm on duty. Well, suit yourself. How about you, little missy? In the mood for a little cocktail party with old Jude here? Leave me alone. You'll not touch the woman, brother Jude, until I know what the top has in mind for her. Now silence, all of you. The top has our sermon for the day. By now, Deacon, you should have taken on board the extra men I sent you. The crates contain the rest of the material you'll need to complete the task ahead of you. The girl is Evelyn Powers. Pretty, isn't she? Use her as a hostage against possible discovery and attack. You must assemble the contents of those crates and set a course to cross that of the SS Pythia before she reaches New York. I will be amongst you in good time. Amongst us? I hope somebody points him out. You mean you don't know what he looks like? None of us do. Now, Captain, the flock will follow their shepherd's command. What? Get this tub moving in the right direction. Yes? Hello, Prof. Ex uh, Sam, Sam, uh, Dexter. You are still using Dexter, aren't you? You still play chess? Of course. Then meet me at the tables in Central Park in an hour. I got a problem for you. Okay. Planning your next move? Nah, I hate chess. Want a game? Hello, Dexter. Prof. <laughs> Good to see you again. Sit down. Let's keep up the pretense of playing chess, if nothing else. <clears throat> you uh, mentioned a problem. That's right. What do you make of this? Took it out of a cop's pocket. Same old Dexter. It's okay, he was a phony. One of the top's men. 
Looks like a code of some sort. The top. I know, I know, Prof. Then take this through the right channels. No time. Retired you may be, but you're still the best in your game. But the top. Don't, Prof. After Anna, I just lost the heart. I, I should never have let her join the organization. I was in love with her, remember? Hey, neither one of us could have stopped her if we tried. You're right, of course. And now the top showed up again through Tarleton Powers. And this time he's mine. Now, the code, Prof. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, look at this. Uh, why, this is child's play. Well, Junior's waiting. See, look. There are no eyes in it and no number above six. So the eyes could have been left out to avoid confusion with the ones? And? Which could mean that only the numbers mean anything. Right. I can see at a glance they're placed in groups. You want to join them up? Okay. We got a P, Y, T, H, I, A, S, A, T. Huh. Pythia Sat. Make any sense? Maybe. I pulled some scraps of paper from a fire at Powers Place. Wrecked the Pythia, lions and gold bull. Nothing like having it all explained. Wreck the Pythia? That much is obvious. Lions and gold bull. Millions in gold bullion? Of course! The SS Pythia. She must be coming in on Saturday. Only the top's planning to head her off en route. Then that has got to be sometime in the next 36 hours. <gasps> the sea girl. What? Powers mumbled something about the sea girl before he died. You'd better call the organization in on this. Oh, this is all we need. Not now, pal. Move it along. You'd think he'd be down at Coney Island on a day like this. I can't see how a crowd of chess players are going to appreciate it. Prof! Down! Prof! Stay down! I'll get him! Prof! You hit! Uh, I'm okay. It's, it's not bad. Know him? A friend of mine. Obviously didn't realize we were music lovers. Same old Dexter. Go on, get out of here. I'll, I'll handle things this end. Don't forget the organization. Uh, tell them for me, Prof. You'll know where I'll be if they want me. Go on, then go. Go. <laughs> My lords, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, captain of the SS Pythia, it has been my pleasure to have you all as my passengers on this, our maiden voyage. I trust uh, you have enjoyed the trip. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we, we arrive in, in New York early tomorrow morning. Uh, now I'll leave you in peace to enjoy your final evening listening to the sounds of our wonderful ship's Orchestra. Thank you. Very nicely put, sir. Oh, thank you, Stone. I think one ought to thank one's passengers. <laughs> Reassure them everything's ship shape and going to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody, please, uh, stay calm. I'm sure there's no need to panic. Stuart, stay here and see what you can do to stop the panic. I'm going to the bridge. Sir, thank heavens you're here. What the devil is going on, number one? I know this sounds crazy, sir, but we're being shelled by that yacht over to our port side. Ah, oh, come on, Deacon. Let me give them another shell right in their laps this time. Their hour will come, Brother Jude. Hand me that megaphone. Ahoy there, brethren of the Parthia! What is the meaning of this outrage? You will instruct your crew to offer no resistance. We wish to board and accept a donation of one million in gold bullion from your coppers. Are you giving us a choice? It seems we've met a wise man at last. Come on, you mugs. Make this tub fast to the Pythia and take her over. You heard the deacon. Move it. And don't forget to bring the powers, dame, and the sea girl's crew with you.
goddamn airplane tools. Titan, will you? Hey, pal. Looking for the owner of this airfield. He around? Hold it, fella. Just a couple more turns. Goddamn! That ain't supposed to happen to the engine. I said, looking for the owner of you this. You found him, Joey Brill. Joey Brill's flying circus. How do? Uh. Kind of busy right now. Had to let the mechanic go. <laughs> Hell, I had to let everybody go. Aviation authorities closing me down. There's a plane around here with an engine still in it. One you haven't worked on, maybe? Well, what's that look like on the runway out there? The Statue of Liberty? But didn't you hear? License suspended. How come? Well, seems I flew a little low over the crowd at our last performance. <laughs> Careless. Hell, they just look like they needed livening up a bit. My ID's all we'll need to cover us. What are you, FBI? Sort of. Help me out and I'll see you get your license back. All right. Now get that airplane fueled and ready. I'll help you attach the floats. Floats? Goddamn! Uh, that's it, Deacon. The last of the gold's been stacked on the Seagoyle. All they got now's one empty strong room. Good work, Brother Bartholomew. Thanks, Deacon. So, how are the passengers enjoying our floor show, Captain? Like they would rather have hit an iceberg. Wait till they see the finale. The show ends with a bang. <laughs> you can't. They're all innocent people. Then they'll all be accepted into the house of the Lord. You can tell him they're on their way. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Oh, hell with it. Dump him over the side, somebody. Jude! Uh, yeah, Deke. Take this little parting gift from the top and leave it in the strong room with the others. We don't need them anymore. At last. Here you go, with the top's compliments. Ah, it's ticking. I think it must be a clock. Ah, my mistake. It's a bomb. A neat, compact little bomb that'll blow a hole the size of a whale through the bottom of this ship. You're not going to untie us? You promised us we'd be safe if we cooperated. Yeah, and I promised my first girlfriend I'd marry you. What a bunch of saps. Come back! You can't do this to us! Watch me. Everybody back on board the Seagull? Uh, everybody except Brother Thomas. I noticed he was walking a little heavy. Seems he accidentally slipped one of those gold bars into the lining of his jacket. And? He died poor. <laughs> <laughs> a fitting end for a disciple. Yeah. Okay, let's get untangled from this heap and get out of here. Right. See anything? No! Can't you get above this cloud? Hang on! Some. Still no sign of the Pythia. Any radio contact yet? No. But if they'd been attacked, it would more likely have been sabotaged in advance. Circle around again. They must be around here. There! What? Look! There to your right. The Pythia. And there's smoke coming from her deck. And that must be the sea girl moving away from her. You want to take a closer look? Look! I got a box of bombs here I've been saving for just this occasion. Woohoo! Goddamn! And take it as low as you can. I want to toss them right down their throats, and I'd hate to waste any. Hey, Deacon, what gives with this plane? I don't know. Keep an eye on it. If it gives us any trouble, let him have it. Here comes number one, guys. Open wide. Hey, Deacon, that was close. You heard me? Open up on him. Take her up. Okay. Take her round again. Woohoo! This is even better than barnstorming. Got the engine, Deacon. We gotta get off before the rest of our ammo goes up. He's right, Deacon. I ain't in a hurry for a burial at Zenita. It'll be the electric chair for sure back on dry land. They got 
to strap us in at first. Okay. Everybody over the side. Try and make it back to the Pythia. They're abandoning ship. How near can you put this crate to the Pythia? I have to get on board. It's too rough. There's no way I can land this far out at sea. How close is that again? I didn't think you'd take no for an answer. Hang on. God damn! Hey! Throw down a line! I'm coming up! Right, sir! Let me help you, sir. Uh, 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 thanks. Thank you, sir. I don't know who you are, but you've got a grand throwing on. I used to pitch in Little League. Sir? Never mind. What's the situation on board here? Couldn't be worse. They killed the captain and we've got the bomb in the strong room. It could go off at any time. Can't you disarm it? We might be able to, but, but those pirates jammed shut the door. Ah. We can't even get the passengers into lifeboats. Those that were destroyed in the attack were smashed up after. Yeah, it's a thorough piece of work, all right. <laughs> they must be from the Sea Girl. Why should we help you? Murderers! We'll help you disarm the bomb! Uh, they got a point there. Call them up. I'll need to talk to them anyway. Come on up! I'm throwing you a line! <laughs> Look at them. This must be the first time the rats returned to the sinking ship. Looks like only two of them made it. <sighs> Thanks, pal! <sighs> yeah? I thought we were shark food for sure. You might be yet if we can't get this bomb defused. Strong room, both of you. You see, sir, that door just isn't going to budge. He might as well be using toothpicks or sledgehammers on that. You got some dynamite there. Use it. Uh, Mightn't it not set the bomb off? Which is going to go up anyway. Come on! Out of the way, people! Just need to tie a stick onto the handle here. Match anybody? Come on, I can't think of everything. Yes, yeah, sir. Thanks. Stand back. It worked, sir! Well done! Seems our luck is holding. Come on, you mugs! Get in there! Thanks, sir! Miss Powers! How did you know I was here? I didn't. Oh. Two minutes, ma'am. You've got two minutes by that bomb's clock. Get these two untied. You, it's your bomb. Do your stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, let's uh, see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I thought so. Lying to save your own skin. Uh, what was we supposed to say? Oh, you bought yourself with a stay of execution. Let me take a look at this thing. Huh. Three wires. <laughs> the red, white, and blue. Seems our criminal mastermind is a patriot, too. Red, I think. Boom! <laughs> I shall have to rely on my imagination to picture your faces right now. <laughs> but, but where are my manners? <gasps> this is the top speaking. Having safely diffused my parting shot, I suppose I must also resign myself to the failure of my mission. I do not intend to make a habit out of it. I allow no one to cross me. No one! The game is on, my friend, and this is still only the first quarter! <laughs> Jeez, that message sounded like it could have been for you. Poisonal. Maybe it was. Thank God you knew enough to cut the red wire. It's what I always see when I think of the top. You mean it was a guess? It's best not to dwell on these things too much, Miss Powers. Dexter, if that's your name. It's one of them. You've saved the life of everyone still on this ship. You'll have to salvage the gold, I'm afraid. But better it be at the bottom of the sea than in the top's bank book. You still get a commendation for this. All I want is the top. Now, you two... Their names are Jude and Bartholomew. Q. Like the Bible, huh? We're all going back topside. You're going to get it chapter and verse. Come on! Sir, some of the crew wanted to know if you'd like them to dangle these characters over the side a while. 
soften them up a touch or two. No, they're likely to get carried away. I got a better idea. Now, which one of you two do I have to shoot to get the other one to tell me what I want to know? Him! A touching display of brotherly love. All we know is what we got from Deacon. Spill it. Uh, the top had the screw on this Talton Powers guy. He knew his money was really his brother's. This would be Alden Powers, right? What does my father have to do with this? Just that. The, the dough was his and his brother was involved in getting him out of the picture. That's how the top put the squeeze on him for the yacht. No, that's not possible. He's lying. Hey, sister, I'm a crook. It's what I do. I admit it. Having money don't make a guy honest. Not my uncle. He wouldn't. She's breaking my heart, Bartholomew. <laughs> and I'll break your head in two if that's the best you can come up with. Who's the top? We don't know. Don't know no one who does. He's right. We're just juice, man. We was taking orders from the deacon. And whoever the top is, he said he'd be amongst us soon. He was here? This deacon? Could he have been the top? No, he was getting messages from the guy. You know, wires and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't clear him in my mind. Yeah, have it your own way. All I know is you two it ain't. The top has a criminal mind second to none. And you're strictly low wattage. Huh. huh? What's that? The plane. I didn't tell Joey to leave. That dirty double crosser. That's Deacon in the plane. How do you like that? He tells us to make for the boat and then steals the plane. I can't even fire at it. I might hit Joey. He must have been hijacked. Bye, Deke. They send us a postcard. Get these two put in irons. And I mean irons. It'll be a pleasure. How long do we make New York? Uh, seven hours at least, I'd say, sir. That's the best we can do with the damage on board. And tell the engineer to step on the gas. I got a cold trail to pick up, and I know just where to stop. In the second episode of Secret Agent X-9 by Dashiell Hammett, dramatized by Mark Brissenden, X-9 was played by Stuart Milligan, Grace Powers by Connie Booth, Monsieur Pico, William Hootkins, Evelyn Powers, Rachel Power, Jude, Bruce McGuire, Bartholomew, John Garasio, Deacon, Peter Marinker, Joey Brill, Ron Lepez, Captain Shaw, Michael John Pariotti. Technical presentation by Peter Novis, Roz Mason, and Jane Napier. Secret Agent X-9 was directed by Chris Wallace. Invigorating. And tomorrow, the all-American hero battles to save gold bullion and solve Evelyn's disappearance. Thank you.